Venipuncture is the process of collecting or drawing blood from a vein and the most common way to collect blood specimens for laboratory testing. The common gauge for most individuals for both syringe and evacuated tube system is gauge 21. However, there are cases that when the vein is fragile, small, or difficult to find, it is much easier to use the wing infusion set having the gauge 23. So today, we're going to show you how the butterfly procedure is done. I'm nervous. You don't have to worry. Um, just stay calm and do as the phlebotomist tells you. And besides, I'll need it. Okay. Good morning. I'm your phlebotomist for today. My name is Irish Ann Domingo. Kaya po yung patient. Yes po. Okay, you may sit down. Thank you po. Okay, what's your name po? Dina Cresel Malin po. Um, when's your birthday? June 1, 2013. Ilang taon na po sila? Five years old. Um, for the guardian po, can you just assist po just in case sure. na masaktan siya? After identifying the patient as well as introducing yourself and sanitizing your hands, proceed to the next step by positioning the patient. Make sure that the arm is well supported and then apply the tourniquet. Select the vein by palpating the site to be punctured. Once you identify the location, release the tourniquet. Put on gloves on both hands. Know that nitrile gloves are preferred when doing the venipuncture. Start cleaning the antecubital area by using either a sterile cotton or a sterile gauze soaked with isopropyl alcohol or, if the patient is allergic, povidone iodine can be used as an alternative. And then apply it in concentric motion. Prepare the equipments by removing them from their own packages. This is done so that it is ready and easily accessible when you start the venipuncture. After so, assemble the system by connecting the syringe into the wing infusion set. To check if the equipment is in good condition, pull the syringe back and forth. Make sure that your equipments are easy to reach and the sterility is not affected. After so, reapply the tourniquet. and cap and inspect the needle. Anchor the vein to keep it from rolling and insert the needle. Make sure not to touch the antecubital area to prevent contamination. Establish blood flow by aspirating the syringe once you see blood enter into the hub. Once the syringe is filled, release the tourniquet. Place gauze and carefully remove the butterfly needle. Tell the patient to hold the gauze and apply pressure. In recapping the needle, it is advisable to fish it and make sure it is tightly closed. Disassemble the system by removing the barrel from the tube of the butterfly needle. Close the syringe by placing back its original needle. Remove the cap and transfer the sample into the evacuated tube and wait for the vacuum to do its job. Again, fish the cap of the needle and secure it tightly. Remember to invert the lavender top aka at the tube 8 times. Label tubes with a patient's name, birth, and the date and time of collection. Lastly, 
check the patient's arm and apply bandage. Then, thank the patient. So, there you have it. That's the standard procedure of using the butterfly equipment with a calm and obedient patient. But in real life, not all patients are calm and obedient. There are these so-called difficult patients, and here they are. When faced with children throwing tantrums, a healthcare professional familiar with the procedure should assist by holding the arm that will be used for the blood collection. This hold will help prevent movement of the arm even if the child is moving his or her body. This hold will also allow the phlebotomist to easily access the venipuncture site during the procedure. The phlebotomist must listen to the patient and hear what he or she is saying. The phlebotomist must explain why he needs to consider the standard procedure rather than what the patient has come up with. If a patient is aware that he or she gets lightheaded or has in the past fainted while having blood collected, the patient may alert the phlebotomist. The phlebotomist must then take appropriate measures to safeguard the patient during the procedure. For example, the phlebotomist may instruct the patient to lie down instead of sitting upright during the procedure. possible situations or scenarios featuring difficult patients and the proper procedure of using the butterfly equipment, as a medical technology student, you are now ready to handle fragile veins. You just need to practice and you're good to go!